Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on guys? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here. So, I don't know if you guys saw, but Anthony Rizzo, Chris Bryant were mic'd up during the Chicago Cubs spring training game, and it was awesome. It was hilarious. Uh, it brought some really cool insight, but plus they were also just really, they were really, really funny. Uh, it started off with Rizzo, of course, um, just like players have been doing for the last couple of weeks, he had to troll the Astros. I'm doing some math in my head what he's going to throw. What do you got? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I knew. Someone banged for me. And although this was this was funny what he said and how he said it, um, it does bring really cool insight. I think this would be awesome. And, and, and this would never happen in, in the real game. Um, you know, a lot of people have been saying, you know, we got to mic these guys up for the season. This would be incredible to see this stuff. Uh, if this was the real season, they wouldn't, <laughs> they would never be doing this. Um, they wouldn't be joking around as much. I'm not saying you can't have fun during baseball games, uh, but when you're actually in the heat of battle, when you're in the batter's box, when you're on the pitcher's mound, when you're in the field, you're, you're not going to be joking around like this. Uh, maybe in the dugout, there'd be a little bit of it. Um, but as much as fun as this seems like it would be to have, this has got to be, you know, this would be great in spring trainings. Like, mic them up all spring, well, maybe not all spring training, because obviously they have to, you know, you're going to have to get locked in as they get closer to the season. But especially beginning of spring training, um, for the guys that already, like, you know, these guys already know they're on the team. You know, they're not, there's, there's a ton of pressure for other players, for younger players, especially guys that are on the roster bubble, guys that are trying to break into the big leagues, try, guys that are trying to make the team. But for guys like Rizzo and Brian, they, you know, they already know that they're going to be in the starting lineup, that they're going to be on the team. So it's a little bit, you know, not as, it's still serious, but they can have a little bit more fun with it. But one of the cool things I thought was, aside from the Astros uh, comment, and the banging on the trash cans, is just uh, the the thought process, how he said, you know, I'm trying to figure out here what pitch he's going to throw. And as a hitter, every single time, right, so you formulate a game plan before you get up there in the at-bat. And you take everything into account, right? You take the opposing pitcher, you take uh, your strengths and weaknesses, you take the game situation, what's the score, what's the inning, uh, how many guys are on base. All of that kind of goes into formulating a game plan. Because what you're doing as a hitter is you're making educated guesses on what pitch you're going to get and where. Okay, so Major League Baseball is really about what you're going to get, not so much what you want. When you're younger, most of baseball is about what you want, right? You can go up there pretty much every at-bat when you're younger, whether it's Little League or Babe Ruth, a high school, or you know, even college a lot of the times. Um, and you can go up there and just say, okay, I want a fastball, and I'm going to sit here on my fastball until I get the two strikes, and then I'm going to have to expand a little bit in battle. In the major leagues, it gets a little bit different at times because um, pitchers, first of all, they, there's advanced scouting reports, so they know, they have an idea of what you like to hit, and so they're less likely to give that to you, unless they really fall behind, right? If they really fall behind, then they may have to give it to you, but one of the things I noticed, especially once you get the AAA and then in the major leagues, is a lot of times they still won't give it to you. So even if they're 2-0, which is a fastball count in most instances, uh, in the major leagues and even in AAA, they'll throw you a changeup 2-0, they'll throw you a breaking ball 2-0, or they can really locate a fastball. Now, I'm not saying that always happens. They can't do that every time, and sometimes they make mistakes. And they're going to give you what you want, right? What you hit best. But really, it is about making educated guesses about what I think I'm going to get so that I can sit on that pitch. Because you can't sit on every pitch. Um, if, you, if you sit on everything, if you try to be ready for everything, then you're actually ready for nothing. It's impossible to be ready for fastball and curveball and change up and split and all that stuff. It just can't happen. So you make an educated guess. You take the situation, the opposing pitcher, your strengths and weaknesses. You formulate a plan and you figure out, okay, what am I, what am I going to get here? And then you sit on that pitch, and if it's that pitch, you should be on time and you should be able to hit it. If it's not that pitch, um, then you take it, right? And then you go to the next pitch until you get the two strikes and then really you have to battle. All right, so I just wanted to give a quick little thing into that because that really is what happens. Every time you step out, right, you take a pitch, you step out, and really quickly you go through your head and you try to figure out, okay, what do I think I'm going to get here? And then what's my approach um, 
It's really, really important. It happens literally pretty much every single pitch. The other thing, real quick, and this is really interesting. I've done a lot of Astro videos lately, right? It's the really big topic in baseball right now, and it is a huge deal. This is something that doesn't happen at all the time in baseball, right? This is a, it's been a historic moment in baseball. Um, and I've been getting not a ton of emails, but I'm assuming a lot of them are from Astros fans. Um, just YouTube comments, emails from people saying like, hey, quit talking about the Astros. Don't act like you never cheated in your career. I, I've gotten that a, a lot, actually. Um, and the, the fact is, I just want to say this real quick. Uh, I never cheated in my career. Like, I never did anything against the rules. And a lot of players do not cheat. There's this weird thing where, like, it's like, well, everybody... I've seen this comment so many times. Everybody cheats in baseball. Everybody cheats. No, everyone doesn't cheat in baseball. Um, if you're not cheating, you ain't trying. Like, I know that's a funny phrase, but that's... I never cheated in baseball, and I have... There's a lot of... A lot of baseball players don't ever cheat. They don't break the rules. People think, like, oh, everybody was on steroids. No, they weren't. During the steroid era, there were were a lot of guys on steroids, but not everybody was on steroids, and that was a, a small part of baseball history. Um, and so, just to say, like, oh, everyone was on steroids, everyone's cheating. No, they weren't. Oh, everybody steals signs. Everyone steals signs. Uh, no, they don't. Players take signs from second base. That's not cheating. It doesn't say anywhere that you can't look at the catcher's signs and try to figure out what they are. That's that's not in the rule book. Everybody does that. That's a part of baseball. You can't use technology. You can't use cameras to steal the sign. Uh, and then relay that to your teammates. You can't do that. That is cheating. So don't say like I don't know if it's if it's fans of the Astros that are that that want to make themselves feel better. Like oh we really didn't cheat. I don't know what it is. Um, but not everybody cheats in baseball. That's just silly to say that. And I don't like when people say to me all the time like oh you I know you cheated. No no I didn't cheat in baseball. I never cheated. I played the game. The right way. I just I played the game. I didn't take banned substances. I never took steroids. Uh, I never had a, my own secret camera hidden someplace. I never had a team that used a camera that I didn't do any of that stuff. Okay, so it just gets me upset when I keep getting those comments from people. And then probably the funniest thing, even I, I like this one way more than even the Astros one, even though that made me chuckle, is when Bryant gets up. And at first I thought it might have been Bryant, but it turns out it seems like it was Rizzo. And he was pulling a, a rookie of the year, um, Henry Rowan Gardner, who, so he gets up at the plate, um, Bryant's up, and all of a sudden you hear, oh my god, 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 oh my god,